Hi, so I'm just going to get into it. It's a bit of an unscripted video, but I want to talk about Twitter and what it's like as a freelance artist doing this as a full-time job. And I will not lie, the whole Twitter situation is quite concerning for a lot of uh, your artists out there. Uh, the whole feeling at the moment is that it is on a very negative trend downwards. And I personally am very worried about the current splintering that's going on. We're seeing people go to different sites like Cohost, Mastodon, um, to help people are returning back to Tumblr. Um, and it's all over the place. We're seeing um, the real big social media presences start to really flounder a little bit. And not that I'm exactly sad about this in a sense of like, oh no, no more Twitter. I love my little shit posts, but more... I have seen most my growth and most my network and through Twitter. Like, it's where a lot of it comes from. The artists I know, the clients I know. Um, a lot of the people either see me on YouTube like you're seeing me here or see me through Twitch and then come to my Twitter. And for me, that's a big part of it. I run my commissions through Twitter. I run my auctions through Twitter. I announce streams and content that I'm doing through Twitter. and the difficulty is if it all collapses, which without fear-mongering too much, it does look like it could. Um, yeah, where does that go? Um, for me personally, I do have a fairly strong community. I do understand that my reach goes far beyond Twitter. I myself will be okay if Twitter goes down. Uh, but the people I really worry for is more your smaller freelance artists, the bread and butter of the furry art community. Um, a lot of us rely on Twitter. I know for a long time, I basically had to beg and push my commissions out like no, nothing. And I feel if the site splinters and stuff, that's a problem. So let's get into my issues with the current ones that I'm seeing. So first we've got Cohost. That's probably the bigger one that we're seeing at the minute. Um, I'll, I've seen a lot of people move to Cohost. My issue with that is it's a donation-driven site with no algorithms. And, you know, it. It while we think that no algorithms is good, that your timeline content is like it's all just within time, for us artists... Actually having a strong algorithm is good for us. If we put out a commission post that people start to, on Twitter, for example, retweet, like, comment on, it gets spread out to more people and we're able to really reach out. And seeing that get lost, because the chronological stuff is great, but as an artist, that means you've either got to, one, constantly retweet it, which is going to annoy certain people who are always online, or... You only retweet it every now and again, and it possibly gets missed by people who want to see it. So I very there are issues with the chronological thing as an artist, um, and that's something I worry about co-host. The other thing is it's donation driven, and I won't lie. I while it's a small niche site, that is fine. But if it starts to grow and content creators like myself and others want to put video on it, we want to put images on it, we want to put audio on it, it's going to start ballooning their costs. And I'm not sure of the longevity of that, um, of that business model. So next up, Mastodon. That's the other one that I'm seeing a lot of people move over to. I have primarily one big problem with Mastodon, and that is that... A server con owner of one server might have beef with another server owner. And now you can't see your friends on that other server without your direct... Like, it, it muddles the water. And I get where the federated idea comes. And I, I've seen the term Fediverse thrown around a little bit. But personally, as much as there's a lot of shits on Twitter, and, and there is... There's a lot of people with real bad takes and people that I massively disagree with and you probably massively disagree with, but you have the choice to see them, block them, mute them, move on. You're not leaving that to somebody else. And yes, while Twitter does block certain individuals, it tends to do so when they've broken the rules of the site as a whole. Um, and I'm very worried about how that would suppress posts from artists because, again, for us... 
it's b the best thing for us is getting our posts out there to see, be seen as many people as possible. And federated stuff feels like it's going to be all this in-house and it's, and it's going to be a little bit restrictive. I might be wrong about that. And same with co-host. I might be wrong. I'm no big knower of things. It's just my opinion on the state of the social medias. Tumblr, on the other hand... So Tumblr, longevity-wise, is one that's been around for a while. It knows what it's doing. I have a bit of confidence in it. The only problem with it is its content filtering, while has gotten better, um, still obviously struggles uh, when it comes to what some uh, fairy artists do, not so for work content, which, unfortunately, like I said, it, it punishes them. And... Obviously, I mean, myself, I mainly just do safer work stuff anyways, so it doesn't really affect me, but in the bigger scheme of things, it is a big part of the community, and to see that being suppressed is something that, it's why a lot of us left in the first place, even myself. I mean, myself, Cade's yellow, the content filters on Tumblr used to think that I was uh, a little bit on the spicy side, <laughs> but like... So I'd obviously worry about things like that again, but, you know, it is what it is. There are other options, obviously, out there. DeviantArt. Um, I mean, they've just had their old kerfuffle with the AI stuff, which I think they've pulled back on a little bit last time I checked. But either way, not a good move. Um, we've got Instagram, which... Blair. It, <laughs> it's, it's square images and stuff, and just... It's not good for socializing. It's good for showing off and bloating about stuff, but it doesn't really have that social element. Uh, and that's the same for Fur Affinity. Now, Fur Affinity is probably one of the bigger sites in the furry fandom um, and does still have quite a major sway. But I, I personally feel it lacks the general nature that the furry fandom as a whole has because here is the primary thing. If you're making a social media site that's primarily for artists, you're going to attract other artists. Other artists don't always buy your work <laughs> because they can make their own or they can do their own stuff or they'll do art trades and stuff like that, which is fantastic. But when you're trying to run a business and pay your bills, taxes, rent and energy bills, it ain't going to do much there. Uh, the one reason why Twitter overall has become this, like, mega site for us as a fandom is because coders, musicians, writers, hell, just content creators, everyone is able to find a footing on Twitter. Everybody has been able to find that niche on Twitter and being able to grow with the wider community. And that is something I feel we're going to lose a little bit um with any of these sites and uh maybe it's just a fact that we've got to come come to terms with if twitter does go under that's something we are going to lose for a while and as much as you can say but there's these sites and this site and this site unless we all agree to move to one it it's going to splinter for a while and it is going to be tough for certain artists so obviously as always i would say Please, if you can, don't get too spammy with it. But if you can, retweet it like other artists' commission posts. Even if you're an artist yourself, genuinely try and help others. Try and help people get that discoverability. Um, and just push those, those kind of things. If you're able to branch out into th other things outside of just simple social medias like YouTube, like Twitch, things that get your reach a little bit further out there, Generally, just obviously diversifying is great, but the other thing is, is you don't want to just be so sporadic and apply to everything. This is one thing I will say. Don't just splatter your work everywhere, because unfortunately that hurts you a bit, because now you're not really able to properly connect with people who actually use that site, compared to people who only post on that site or a couple of others. Um... So there's there's risks, there's benefits, there's this, there's all this stuff that we're going to be thinking about. Um, Discords and Telegram chats are also very strong things for you. If you have a Telegram channel or a Discord for your own artwork, very strong. You're able to connect to a good community there. So that's something that I would definitely recommend as well. But yeah, generally, 
I'm quite terrified of the direction that Twitter's been taken. And when Musk first came in, I honestly was one of the people that just said, he's not going to do much. I mean, it's just a new person. But unfortunately, it seems he's absolutely wrecking the site. And he even convinced me to give him eight bucks. So, you know, I'll take the L there. <laughs> but yeah, let's see how it all goes along. And I hope you're having a lovely day. <laughs> Help out your freelance artists and let's make sure this community doesn't get splintered because of the actions of a rich egomaniac. Okay? I love you all. Mwah.